the general plan for today is going to be to make some farms, work on building so that we have a place to put our enchanting table and some bookcases. Now I am streaming at a slightly higher bit rate than normal. So let me know how that works out because before my bit rate made it so that when I was like walking around and doing like normal head movements and stuff, it was getting all blurry in the video. And you can see that in the first one in, in part one, uh, hopefully it's fixed here, but you know, I don't normally stream, uh, Minecraft and things like that. So it's all a work in progress. I could build my typical farm, but I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this like island itself. We're going to connect it to back to the mainland eventually. I just fill it in with dirt because I actually don't like the way it, it looks that much. Like this, this thin strip. I like being on the ocean front where it's just straight out into the open ocean. But I don't like that we're not connected to the mainland. So let me, let me not get too distracted and just start doing something so that while I'm talking, I'm doing something. Uh, five, six, okay. I think uh, we're going to start essentially by... Whoop, just gathering some dirt from wherever. I'm not sure where at the moment. I gotta light up over here. We have sugarcane right there! I was literally going to make a whole thing later about, oh, we have to go get sugarcane! There's some literally right there though. That's funny. It'd be nice if I had insta mine. How much dirt do I have? A couple stacks. Get a bit more. It's got to get ugly before it can get pretty. I have a pickaxe. I am actually short on coal, which is unfortunate because it literally just takes like one good mining session to not be short on coal anymore, but there's no good way to do that with like the way I'm currently playing. Because the official release, that's another thing to mention. Uh, since I streamed <laughs> the official version of 1.14, Dot four came out. Uh, so yeah, so the official version's now out. Um, and they're pretty much not doing any more bug fixes on it until 1.15, which who knows when that'll be, probably in like October. And I think, at least rumor has it, that it's gonna be more mostly a like a bug fixing update. So it's not gonna, or it's gonna just be a general tweaks update. And it might be a, it might be the combat update or a combat update, but that's not confirmed. Okay, we're actually because we're digging so many blocks, we're gonna need another chest soon. I'm gonna build my typical carrot farm. This land is my land. Oh, another thing to note. Um, I changed my skin here. Wait, let me get my uh, get my stuff off so you can sort of see what's going on here. I changed my skin. Uh. So I sort of found a link skin online and then I redid the face to sort of match my profile a bit more with the open mouth. Um, on top of that, one other cool thing that we can do is if we take the hat and the jacket off, so sort of the, the hair becomes a bit sort of smaller. And the other thing is that the shield is taken off the back. So I think that's kind of cool. I was going to do more, but I got lazy. How much coal do I have? I don't think I have much. I have some. I have like no cobblestone though. Where the heck did all my cobblestone go? Wait a minute. Do I have a chest downstairs? I bet I, I, bet I have a chest downstairs. There's actually a decent amount of stuff in here that I can't fit in my inventory. Uh... Oh wait, like it like let me wear my clothes. <sighs> and watch, well, it's gonna be night outside and there's gonna be creepers, and I'm gonna get killed and I'm gonna be sad. And the creeper's gonna blow up my bed and I'm gonna have to walk back here from world spawn. It is nighttime, so the first thing came true. So we don't we might as well plant this. And actually, let me while I'm remembering, since we do need paper later. Let me bring this closer. Okay. 
pro, pro tip, way faster to just hold down the button. Really? I don't get an achievement for planting the other stuff? Well, okay, fine. So a stone cutter is a new block in 1.14. And what it does is it'll allow us to more conveniently get stone stairs. Okay, well, it's floating now. Where's my sandstone? Okay, so maybe if I extend it out. So right now, the bottom one holds 64. And this one holds 56. And that's just not enough in general, like in the long run. So maybe if I just extend out my design two blocks. Like that way, it's sort of, without getting super taller, we're essentially adding an additional layer every two layers. Uh, it's looking nice with the, with the border. Um, it's looking pretty complete. We're going to put the fences in the front. Um, the fences actually have to go here. Perfect. It's all looking pretty good to me. I don't know what uh, what you guys think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I mean the chat, Twitch chat. There's not going to be an edit there, don't worry. Okay, so now time to shift gears a little bit and focus on the house. So for the house, um, we're mostly going to be using birchwood. Birchwood slabs, birchwood, and I'm gonna need um, birchwood planks rather, and I'm gonna need some more. How many more fences do I need? I need like 12? Oh, maybe a little bit less. There we go. Now we have our stilts in. Okay, so this is a half block tall though, right? This is on a. This is on a bottom half slab. So. For the walls, they're going to have to actually be higher. Um, and for the walls, I think we're going to use dark oak. So since I want to use dark oak for the walls, we should plant some of these saplings nearby. Maybe until we get our farm all the way up here, we can use this as sort of good area to grow these. Deforestation! I'm not deforesting. I'm cutting down like a couple trees. When I actually start deforesting, sure, report me. But until then, you have nothing on me. Okay, actually, we have a lot of wall space back here. So maybe the front, I don't have to worry about. Uh, I don't have to worry so much about keeping it, um, you know, not level. Like, because I won't really have anything, the front won't be used for anything except maybe, uh, overlooking the, the outside. And I kind of want a back door over here as well, so, but I'm thinking probably a two wide one. Like there. So actually, even having this house like up against the sand wall like this won't be that bad, especially if we don't, uh, if we wind up not putting windows over here. The real issue comes in how high am I making the roof? I guess stopping about here is probably fine. And putting the roof, the block above this. And then another question is, what do we make the roof? I tend to make roof smooth stone now that it's out. Whoa, I almost fell through the bed. But the issue with smooth stone is that it's expensive to make. Actually, we do have the nether. So it doesn't have to be that expensive to make. And actually, now, actually, actually, actually. We can put a super smelter in here. 
Yeah, this is the perfect height for a super smelter. So maybe, maybe I should do that. And it should be in this side. Because then when I come in, I can throw my stuff in the smelter. So I'm going to do. We're going to put a super smelter here. Okay, so this is going to be sort of the first more complex thing I do in this game. Um, so, do I have any of this? To start off, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to throw down two of our six chests. So, these are going to be our item retrieval chests. Um, and I believe if there's a hopper on top, we can still open it. Yeah, okay. Um, the next thing we are going to do... Is we are going to put a hopper there. And then another hopper... There. Okay, that should be good. Then the furnace is going to go here. Then we need a hopper there and there. And one. We need one more. We need one more to make it nice and flush with the wall. Oh, actually, no. I'm just dumb. How did that happen? How did that happen? It's so annoying. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, the way this works now is we put fuel in the top. No, we put the things we want to smelt in the top. We put fuel in the side. Which can't open because of that block, but we can, we can fix that. Okay, so now we just need to get the... So the dirt that's showing over here, or the, the sand out that's showing over here. That should be good. Okay, awesome. There's our super smelter. Uh, do I have any more logs? I don't have any more logs. Did I plant any more trees? I did plant some more trees. Did any of them grow? No. Did all of this really despawn without me getting a single sapling? This isn't good, guys. What color do I want to make them first? With 18, that's actually perfect. So, I gotta pick a color that would look good in this build. I'm thinking either white. Yeah, I know. It's so sad. I'm thinking, I'm thinking white or... Uh, or light gray. Do we have anything to make either of those dyes? Did I pick any flowers? I gotta go pick flowers. I'll be back. I I I went through the trouble keeping a cactus in my inventory when this cactus like literally five steps from my house. Okay, well, that's not gray flowers, but you know those are still flowers that I want to pick. Yes, there we go. Lily of the Valley. It makes white dye, so we can either make white windows, which I'll, I'll probably make white windows because those look, those look good. We could also make gray windows, which I don't like as much, or we could make light gray windows. Light gray windows are definitely um, the best of the windows. I think my house is this way. I could be horribly mistaken, though. Is this not my... Oh no, there's my cobblestone wall. Okay, we're good. We're good. Nice. Should I go one higher, do you think? Should I go another block up with glass and make the ceiling a little bit higher there? I could do that. 
Yeah, I think I will do that. I think I will do that. I think we'll make the, uh, the ceiling here a little higher. And we'll go around one more time with glass. What kind of door should I go for? I like dark oak. Let's go dark oak wood door. Let's try, let's try polished andesite. That looks good. The only um, the only problem I have is that these corner blocks to make one more polished andesite. Nap time. Would would straight stone do you think be better than the andesite there with the with the sort of grid look? Because I don't know if the grid look is okay or not. Stone instead of wood. I don't know how the stone would look instead of andesite. I don't want to put it down because um, because then it gets broken into cobble, but it's essentially this texture down here. I don't know. It, it looks too natural to me to put in a house. I don't know. Maybe the only other thing I would say is we could do smooth stone, but smooth stone I think is too bright for what I'm going for. It would be good contrast, but I think it would be too much contrast. Especially because I'm thinking of making the ceiling smooth stone, which I don't want to be the same as the door frame. Um, this door frame is going to be... Damn it. This door frame is going to be too wide, so actually these, these have to go. I hate doing this so much. This feels terrible to do, but... Uh, it's literally the worst feeling to break glass without... Um, Without silk touch on, because uh, it just gets lost. If you have silk touch, you actually get it back. But without silk touch, you just lose it. Next thing to do is going to be to fill this house with some chests over here in the back so I can start actually properly storing stuff. Mm hmm. Wondering how to do that and what to build the roof with. I'm thinking, I, when I don't know what to do for a build roof, I usually go with smooth stone. So that the roof in here is nice and flat. But it's still like a light color. And that being said, if we're going to do smooth stone, what I want to do is let's get completely set up in the house as that being our sort of base of operations. Um, to do so, let me make a couple of chests. So if we want room for another one, two, three. Here I'll, I'll have some chests. Um, I want sort of a, a chest for random stuff there. We'll make it a double chest since we have space. Um, and then let's sort of just stack up chests there for storage at the moment. There we go. The other thing I could do is I could boost my bed up one, but I sort of like the bed on the uh, on the floor. I don't know, maybe up one would be better. Yeah, exactly. You, you wake up and you look out the window to see the ocean. Like, the the view is great. We got, we got like, we can check our nether portal. We can look there. I like the, the full window. The full window is great. The only issue is going to be, look at all the kelp. That's one bad thing about having a, a world where you do a lot of work by the ocean, is that the kelp starts to grow like crazy. And when the kelp grows like crazy, it's like, it just starts to get unnatural looking. <laughs> okay. How do I make an armor stand? How would I guess that? <laughs> okay. I was almost right.
So guys, we got my first armor set all set up in my house here. I'm gonna miss that armor set. I gotta put a crafting table in my in my house. Come on, crafting table. Coming inside. Oh, there's a good place to throw this. I guess in this corner. Actually, no, because the crafting table is going to be sort of a main needed thing. This is going to be three wide, but this spot won't be used, so put it there. Legs, hat, feet, and shirt. There it is, guys. Suit up! We got our first set of iron armor. I mean, we could have gotten it a while ago. But we got it now, so that's, that's, that's pretty good. Some lava. Maybe I should make a couple more buckets. And we can do mass amounts of smelting. I forget what I wanted to smelt, but I want to get a couple lava buckets so I can uh, do a large amount of smelting. Actually, you know what? So, I'm going to go get a lava bucket. But, I do want to find a nether fortress so I can also start brewing potions and stuff. That'll be pretty helpful. And so this is fairly dangerous. I think that this itself is going to be, yeah, this is going to be pretty dangerous. So, uh, I should bring torches. <laughs> so last time we went in the nether, but we didn't really do anything in the nether. Um, we're going to find a nether fortress. We're going to sort of get into a convenient spot from this portal. Um, like I want access to the lava down there from this portal, as well as a, um, as well as a fortress. And this, this castle in the nether has rare mobs in it. Things called blaze and wither skeletons, which are both fairly important uh, for, for other times in the game. So... Because I don't see any in that general direction, and it's over a lava lake, we're actually going to just tunnel. So, we're going to create a, a, a tunnel straight through here. Um, it's going to get us a, a building block. Not a good building block, but a building block. Well, we almost died. But, we survived. L like, okay, hold on one second. Because my heart is literally freaking racing right now. You have no idea. I literally, like, oh my god. My heart's beating like a thousand miles an hour. Okay, actually, it looks like we can be get back up from here. Oh, thank god. Are you kidding me, dude? Like, I'm trying to mine here. Get, get, get. Um, that doesn't count as me damaging it. So, I would always dig with a block in your offhand in the nether, if you're digging tunnels through the nether, because lava flows the same speed as water in the nether, and because of this, and also it spawns in random pocket chunks in the nether. So if you're digging, and you come across a pocket of lava, if you have in your offhand a block, you can just sort of spam right click and you'll actually be... You'll be okay. So that, that was horrifying. We are, uh, we continue this whole, yep, see? <laughs> it's a good example of what I was talking about right there. So this tunnel hopefully let out somewhere where there's a, uh, nether fortress. Um, I got my bucket of lava, which is sort of what I came in here for. I would have liked to find a nether fortress, but I don't think, um, I, I don't think I'm in the sort of mindset after what just happened to explore anymore. 
background here. I'm going to light up this area just so it's nice and bright. I think I'm going to head back in. Uh, we have more we have more house stuff to do. And now with the bucket of lava, we can make smooth stone for the house. So I should actually make something to actually just to just generate smooth stone. Like, so this furnace is great because, it you know, it flows things down. But um, I think it would be even better if what happened is you put stone, like a, one specifically for stone, where you put stone in the top, cobblestone in the top, right? Um, and then out of the bottom, it got you smooth stone. It would go through like two furnaces back to back. See, I can't wait till the YouTube video because all this is going to be done in literally two seconds. Like, I'll literally spin around and there'll just be tons of dirt here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in terms of the, like, outer roof yet. But this is, this is going to be sort of what the inside looks like. Like, I tend to like flatter roofs on my builds. So that should be good. Uh, like, like, I don't like completely flat roofs, obviously. That's a little boring. Let's quickly do this. Let's, let's look how this looks from, from the water. I think, uh, I think that looks pretty good. I think the best angle, though, will be sort of from the corner here. Like, that looks pretty good. The oak wood does look a bit out of place, though. So this look with the sort of out-sticking logs. <laughs> or this look with the with sort of like the, the flat the flat end like the logs give it more depth but I don't think they actually work with the build is the issue it does work better without the logs but I'm wondering if it's not because of the depth issue but instead because the logs color palette doesn't actually work with the house. Okay, so although we have the sort of the interior of the roof done, we still need to do the exterior, which is sort of what gives the build its uh, its sort of character. I'm not sure what to do for the exterior of the build, to be honest, though. The exterior of the roof. Uh, this we need stairs. Fine. Oh, you know what'd be cool? This is like a patio and a second floor. Oh, what if we put the enchanting table up here? That could work. We have space for it. Right? One, two, three, one. Oh my god, yes! It's like perfectly sized for an enchanting table up here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little path come out this way. Like and lead onto the roof, and we'll put an encha the enchanting table up there, and then we can make that part like a glass dome, and the other part just like a normal roof that sort of like a flat roof, but it'll have a glass dome on it. Okay, so that's gonna be where the enchanting table goes. Um, our enchantments are actually not good yet right now, so that's okay. We we don't have to deal with this yet. I think overall I am liking the feel of this house here. It's it's nice to finally have like an actual home. And we got our farm growing. Everything seems to be coming together quite nicely. But just like all things or all good things, this has to come to an end. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I'm going to be streaming this again shortly. Um, and stay tuned for the next episode as well, which is actually already recorded. Remember, head over to Twitch to show your support live. Um, I'll be streaming there. And uh, if you want to show your support here on YouTube, make sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe. I'm hoping that this series goes on for a good long while, but thank you all for watching and have a good night, everyone.